PlayStation 4 has been out since 2013 and has sold millions since, with great exclusives like Bloodborne and others. It's no wonder it's still one of the three major consoles. However, have you wondered what other things your PS4 can do? Well, here at The Gamer, we're going to look at some of the extra features in your PS4 you may not have known about. Before we begin, don't forget to check out this newest feature on YouTube and subscribe to The Gamer for more videos. Now, let's go and mess around with our PS4s. Number 10. Facial recognition. You might be thinking that facial recognition is just something in sci-fi movies and Xbox Ones, but you would be mistaken. On launch, the PS4 was capable of facial recognition. Many people didn't really buy into this because the feature required you to buy a PS4 camera attachment. Fans of PlayStation might have remembered the spectacular failure that was the eye toy back with the PS2 and thought, yeah, maybe having an eye toy for PS4 was not worth it. While it might be scary to imagine a camera watching your every move, it can be a useful tool for security when signing in. For this feature, you will need a PS4 camera. Once you have that, simply go into your settings, then login settings, then enable face recognition. With this feature, you can sign into your PlayStation 4 with just your face. This may seem harmless, but a few of you may remember the 2016 PlayStation Network hack, where millions of players' accounts were hacked. Now, only having facial recognition may not completely prevent a hack of your account. But, just like with two-step verification on most social media platforms and other apps, it may help better protect your information from being leaked and leading to a hack of your account. Number 9. Sharing screen caps. Now this tip might not be for the hardened PS4 owners, but even still, most people forget that sharing screenshots on console games is becoming easier than ever. Gone are the days of taking pics of your screen with your phone, like ye olden days of 2010. Now, your amazing vantage points and quirky glitches can be saved via a button on your DualShock controller. However, the default share settings are not ideal. In default, you have to hold down the share button for a few seconds for it to work. Luckily, there's a way to make it easier. Simply tap the share button once to open up the share menu. Once you do this, press the options button on the other side of the controller and then share settings button control type to change how the share button functions. One of the options you can choose is so that simply tapping the share button once captures the screenshot. Now with these easy to follow instructions, sharing your awesome Assassin's Creed kill will be all that easier. It's even easier than taking a pic with your phone. Man, if we only had this back then. Hey guys, we're excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from the richest, Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with an ad-free browsing experience. Check out the premium by clicking on this link. Sign up for free and start binge-watching videos from your favorite channels. Number 8. Standby Charging the DualShock controllers are a nice addition to the PS4 experience. No one is denying that. The problem is, they don't have a super long battery life. While they can hold a charge for about 7 hours at full, in retrospect, that's just about one long gaming session. And if you want to pull an all-nighter, then you're gonna have to go wired. Nothing is more infuriating than having your controller die just as you're about to fight the Dancer of the Boreal Valley in Dark Souls 3. So what is one to do when their controller goes kaput? Well, the obvious answer would be to have your PS4 on and charge it that way. But an easier and more energy-efficient way is to put your PS4 on standby mode. Think of this as putting your laptop on sleep mode. It powers the console down without turning it off completely. This way you can charge your controllers without having to leave it on. So, to put your PS4 on standby, simply go to your power settings from your main menu and select the set functions in standby mode and select the power supply through USB ports function. Number 7. Motion Control Typing Do you remember back when you had to type in your character name manually using the analog sticks? Or when you had that full keyboard attachment on your Xbox 360 controllers? Yes, those were dark, horrible times. Don't let those 90s kids tell you any different. Before, there were D-pads, and now we have full motion controls, and they can be used for typing. Yes, the PS4's light bar can be used for motion tracking typing. While some may see this as more complicated than using the analog sticks, we at The Gamer see it as an innovative way to utilize motion controls. Perhaps what makes this easier is that the PS4 light bar is actually more responsive than the Kinect. When you're prompted to type something on the screen, simply press down the right analog stick and you can now use motion tracking typing. With this feature, you can hover the cursor over the letters you want to input by pressing X. You can also use this for creating shortcuts that you've made on the keyboard. For example, having the backspace key be the square button. It's a charming feature, but it can be improved by having the player use a full keyboard in their hands, like on their phone. Number 6. Your phone is the keyboard. 
Did someone say convenient transition into the next topic? Because that's what it was. So let's say that motion tracking typing is a bit too much for you, and you think to yourself, gosh, if only I could use my phone to type, which makes sense. Chances are you spend a lot of time on your phone, so you're already acclimated to the feel of typing with your thumbs. You have all your shortcuts and what you have already stored on your phone, and you want to use that to better your social experience online. Well, fret not, because Sony has you covered. You can download the PlayStation app from the App Store for free. From there, make sure your PS4 and your phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. After that, go to your settings and hit PlayStation app connection settings and select add a device. From there, open up the PlayStation app and select connect to PS4 and enter the code that appears on your TV. Now you can effortlessly switch between your phone and controller for ease and utility. Having these two features highlights the wide array of options you as a player has when engaging with people online through your PS4. Number 5. Managing your data. Look. There are a lot of benefits to having a plug-and-play console system. You have those sweet exclusives, a place for couch co-op, and a convenient system that plays great games and has HD movies. Plus, it's also a Blu-ray player to boot. However, having all those apps and games can cost a lot of data, and one of the drawbacks is that you can't just add internal hard drives to a console to give it more space. So, managing your data is extremely important. Luckily, the PS4 makes it easy to manage your data. All you need to do is go to Settings, and then go to System Storage Management. From there, you can see all of your data on your hard drive by category, and can delete old files or unwanted games you no longer play. From here, you can utilize some of these great tips for managing your storage. Compliments of the gamer. Make sure you delete screenshots and videos that you've already transferred onto your other devices. If they no longer serve a purpose on your console, get rid of it. If all those games and screenshots mean so much to you, consider investing in an external hard drive. Using the USB port, it's possible to store your data on an external hard drive. Number 4. Get more out of your controllers. So you know how we mentioned before that DualShock controllers were nice? Well, they are, but they're also battery hogs. Now you might be asking, how? Well, the answer is the innocent looking blue light bar. Aha! Caught them blue-handed. The thing is, the light on your DualShock controllers can be adjusted, which can save you some battery life in the long run. Here's how you do it. First, hit the home button controller in the center. Then, from the menu, select Adjust Sounds and Devices. You can then select the Brightness of DualShock light bar and set it to dim. There are some other handy tips that can increase the battery life of your controllers. One of them is disabling the rumble function. While it may defeat the purpose of a DualShock controller to not have its DualShock, the time added to the battery life might be worth it. Another helpful tip is to reduce the speaker volume on the controller. While having sounds from your controller adds to the immersion, disable it can add to the battery life. All these tips might be taking away things that make the PS4's controller unique, but hey, you have to make that 24-hour live stream happen one way or another. Number 3. Play your PS4 games on your Vita. Nintendo shocked the world with the Switch, a game system that allows you to take it on the go with you. Yet people tend to forget that PS Vita already did that years before the Switch, way back in 2013. It was marketed heavily during the PS4's launch, the ability to play almost any PS4 game on the go through your PS Vita. There were only two problems with this ploy. First, PS Vita sales were not doing so hot. In fact, they're still not so hot. In fact, we're pretty sure this feature didn't do too much to drive up the sales of PS Vitas here in the US. And second, the process was not explained at the time. In any case, if you have the actual system and a Vita, you can link the two through Remote Play. Simply go to your settings and then PS Vita Connections. Once there, select Add a Device and enable your device in your PS4. While the utility of this feature seems amazing, keep things in perspective. You may not be able to play literally everywhere, like on a mountain trail, but if you want to get in a few games of NCAA on your morning commute to work or school, it's perfect for that. Number 2 finding the rarity of your achievements. They are the driving force for 100% completionists out there, and having a high gamer tag score is almost like having a Medal of Honor in some circles. Like the previous console, PlayStation 4 uses the trophy system that acts like the achievement system for Xbox. However, did you know the PS4 will tell you the rarity of those trophies? Have you ever gotten a trophy and thought, huh, that was too easy? Or, Geez, I bet no one has gotten that before. Well, in your trophy case, there is a percentage rating that will tell you how rare a trophy is, along with a rarity system that goes all the way to ultra rare. With this system, you can gloat all you want to your friends about the trophies you got, or be envious of your friends that have even rarer trophies. Of course, there are trophies out there that are more valuable than you can possibly imagine. A few select games have the honor of having trophies that less than 1% of players have. Could it be the trophies hard to get, or is the game obscure, or both? IGN has a great guide on rare trophies. You should totally check them out. After the video, of course, you don't want to miss number one. 
Number one, remote play from your Mac or PC. So you want to play your PS4 remotely, but don't have a PS Vita. If you're in the US, it's very likely you don't have one, or you just never bothered to get one because why would you? Never fear, because you don't even need a TV for this feature. Remote play allows you to play your PS4 wirelessly on a computer in your house. To enable this feature, you must download a file onto your computer, link in the description. From there, go to your PS4 and go to settings, then remote play settings and enable remote play. While your PS4 is on, connect a PlayStation controller to your computer using a USB port and launch the Remote Play software. So you might be asking what's the point of Remote Play? Picture this, you're playing your PS4 and using the TV, but then your roommate wants to watch TV. So, like the good person you are, you let them have the TV and you go to your computer to resume playing through Remote Play. Come to think about it, isn't that similar to what the Wii U tablet was marketed for? Very sneaky, Nintendo. Very sneaky. And there you have it. 10 features of the PlayStation 4 you may not have known about. We hope you use these new features to impress your friends, or at the very least, enhance your PlayStation experience. Do you know any hidden features? If so, let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer and check out our playlist of videos. You might just find your next favorite thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on The Gamer.